This other thing that I'm interested in, I have crazy neighbors. Um, some of them are killing each other, some are, I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of interested in when they're home. And, um, so I, I figured out that um, there's a lot of information that you can glean out from the wireless spectrum. Like if you just look at 2.4 gigahertz, you see Bluetooth devices, you, you see mobile phones, smartphones trying to connect via Wi-Fi, uh, you see a shitload of access points and all kinds of stuff, uh, connected devices, unconnected devices, etc. And so I figured, I think there, there might be some patterns that might be observable in just the wireless 2.4 GHz spectrum. So I fired up Scapy, which is a, again, I'm a lazy guy, so instead of doing stuff in C properly, I'm doing it fast, uh, I guess a bit more efficiently for coding in Python. And so I fired up Scapy and developed a little like sniffer for 2.4 gigahertz um, and basically what it does it captures uh, management frames and it captures uh, data frames in wireless networks uh, 802.11 and uh, based on the MAC addresses that you find in there and based on the connections and other uh, fingerprintable informations I deduce which are the access points, which are the clients, which uh, clients are connected to which access points and uh, um, basically I also um, dump this into a file and since I'm interested in changes from each scan um, um, I made a small diff tool that takes two scans and prints out what is the difference between those scans has, has an access point changed its, uh, its frequency where it's operating as, as an access point, changes uh, SSID for example, which is also interesting in helping sometimes. And another interesting um, um, insights that you can see here, like also who are your close neighbors, who are your... Um, um, antenna uh, actuators that you can find are these very cheap USB rocket launchers for office games and you can mount a directional antenna on that and by using that and scanning in each direction and seeing where the signal is the strongest you can very nicely pinpoint each uh, position not, not the position but the direction of, of an access point and by going a bit around you can actually do this and this is the wireless radar that I, I coded up a few years ago and it's really easy to uh, replicate. You can buy these rocket launchers for I guess 15 euros or something on uh, Thinky um, and the directional antenna you can build yourself. Uh, so this was like three years ago and now uh, a few, and I combined this also with Bluetooth scanning and with the same device because it's the same spectrum. Uh, so you can pinpoint Bluetooth devices also in, in, in space. Uh, I had this hobby earlier to go to conferences and, and record the uh, Bluetooth and, and other MAC addresses and to check out which persons have been attending the same conferences I have previously and uh, check out uh, so many people have. So, um, um, yeah, so basically this is a command that you can run and it compares um, uh, with the previous scan, but I'm not really interested in the previous scan now. So I'm just going to demo the latest tool. Um, and I think it's pretty cool because there's a, as far as I know there's no such tool. But, okay. <coughs> yes. Can you increase the font size? Yeah. Oh shit, yes. Uh, different terminal. Where is that? <coughs> Here, okay. So, and 
and I don't expect much to see here, but I can show you um, Should an we turn on? of a previous story. Should we turn on Bluetooth? Uh, no, the Bluetooth is not scanning now. Uh, this is only the wireless. Uh, there's two tools that do Bluetooth and, and wireless. Um, so it is scanning through the networks. <coughs> looks like crap on a small screen, but if you have a bigger screen, it updates and it will show you, in this case, we see an AP uh, that is CAM++, and we see a client that is not connected apparently to CAM++, or we are not scanning on the correct channel yet, so if we go to channel, I don't know which is it, it's operating on, 11 or, or 6 or something, then we will see uh, these clients are actually connected. But it's also cool that we see someone, oh, over in Nibla DE, Yes, this is collecting all the access points that you're spewing out that you haven't previously... Um, At Hackerspace Budapest. Yes, someone, someone has been visiting us and other um, um, access points. My own hotspot, for example. So, and this is running, and if I'm running this at home, uh, in a um, residential area, I, after a scan, I get about 200 active devices in my vicinity that I catch with the antennas that I'm in here. Um, if you go up to the correct channel, we will see that some of these devices will be actually connected to this access point, but we are not seeing the data packets yet because we're not, the thing is not scanning uh, on that channel. Uh, the timeout on each channel is 23 seconds. Uh, if it doesn't find anything new for 23 seconds, it switches to the next channel. So, and it's apparently on channel 2 there's nothing, so we wait 23 seconds and then it goes to channel 3, it will not find anything, and it goes on and then on and on. Uh, and then we will see. And of course you see the signal strength uh, per uh, previous... Uh, so, um, <coughs> this is uh, very nice for reconnaissance, and I think it's also very nice for finding like problems uh, at big conferences where there's a problem with the, with the Wi-Fi. How many uh, clients are connected to one access point? Are they, how much traffic are they sending, etc., etc. Um, and uh, actually, what is also interesting in this row, um, there's flags, but fortunately it doesn't flag anything. There's two kind of devices that it flags. Uh, drones and wireless cameras. <laughs> so if there would be a wireless uh, camera, um, it would flag that as a wireless camera and uh, also uh, parrot drones and other drones where the MAC addresses are known as uh, vendor MAC address, uh, they will be identified as this. Of course, if you fake a MAC address, you can make me shit my pants. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, uh, this is um, pretty easily extensible and has, I think, a lot of uh, potential for looking around what is happening in your area. Any questions? <coughs> so, I, um, I, I think I might I try and show you a, a scan. Uh, <coughs> what? I, it's regularly running from a point of In this case, I have 151 active devices in my in my immediate area, and that looks like um, like crap on the small again. But you see um, one access point with a lot of connected, uh, one more access point with a lot of connected, and this is like basically my neighborhood as it's uh, living in, in the wireless spectrum on a certain point in time. Um, so. Um, this is called wireless radar and is also available 
um, since the weekend again on, on GitHub, on my GitHub account. All of that <laughs> is available on my GitHub account. What is not yet released, but I promise it will be released, it will be there within a few days. Uh, my GitHub name is stef, Sierra Tramboyko Foxtrot. And uh, one thing that I forgot in one of the other Atlantic talks is um, I'm also releasing a uh, much faster uh, regular expression tool for binary matching stuff and files and, and stuff uh, that I forgot to, to promise you. But, um, basically, this is it. Thank you.